Hello and welcome to my Tarmac Works review. This is my first Tarmac work at Tarmac Works, and it is also my first Global 64 release, of course, part of the same company. This is a Vertex and Tarmac collaboration, uh, and of course, is a Nissan Silvia S14, as you can read on the box. Um, these are one of my favourite S chassis. In fact, my favourite S chassis are the S14, particularly the generation like this. Um, this is of course modified with a vertex body kit and a few very nice three-piece wheels. So uh, join me as I take a look. It's also a Lamry, uh, Lamley collaboration, as you can see on the box. And I absolutely love the box art. So we'll take a closer look as I crack it open, take a few shots and compare it to the Hot Wheels Premium version that released a few years ago. So starting with presentation, I already really like it compared to the Mini GT releases of prior. Um, because the Mini GT releases you physically can't see inside of the box, you can't see the cast So if you want to display it, this is much better for displaying purposes With a encased plastic to keep the thing really safe You can see Tarmac X Vertex uh, on the bottom uh, T and E, uh, sorry, Tanned and E Core Limited as you can see on top there Vertex Nissan Silvia S14 and Global 64 on the top. You can see on the sides, Lamley Group, um, which I'm, guys, I'm guessing Lamley was a huge inspiration and figure for making this thing possible. And I love, my favourite part of this whole thing is I love that rear shot. That is, looks, it just looks amazing. Um, the colours, the definition of the court, of the photo, everything about it, I love it. It, it just looks fantastic. Uh, and on the bottom we have a bunch of boring lanterns and jargon, including some Japanese I believe, um, manufactured and premium by CollectibleTrading.co Limited, I'm getting that's the, the whole big company of Tarmac. Um, 164 scale model and all sorts of license and jargon on the bottom including Tarmac Works, Instagram, Facebook and also their website. So check them out if you want to see what comes out very very soon. And here we are opening out. And I mean, already you can very well. It's it's not hard to be impressed by this thing. You can see really minute details. We'll start on the front end, with of course the uh, T and C, or tanned and C or whatever that is. Dot JP, uh, like a uh, sort of decal on the front bumper. Um, really nice details, such as if we take in the first appearance of the screwdriver of truth, you'll see indicator details, and also really impressively, the intercooler also, as you can see there, matches up with the intercooler piping, which I thought was impressive as anything. You can see it actually goes all the way through. It's not just a fake vent that's been cladded up. It's a genuine vent, and I find that really impressive. Also, the shutting lines between the um, acrylic or sort of lensed. Headlights are really close. There is literally no gap at all. Um, and also the front is really, really well done. This is a very impressive, yet very basic, um, premium die-cast front end. Um, for what it is, I'm over the moon with that, uh, especially in the cooler. That is definitely one of my favorite pieces of this whole car. Uh, continuing on, you see the, the, I mean, detail even flows into the windscreen wipers, as you can see. Detailed very very nicely there and also a very nice vertex window banner going across the top and some very 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 nice I can't quite remember the name of them right now um, Little side wing mirrors there uh, They do have a special name, but I can't quite remember it right Continuing now. on to the side things get very spicy with some very very nice two-piece or three-piece wheels with a huge inner barrel and um, They just look fantastic the sort of a fry spoke sort of um, rotor form-esque uh, you could sort of say but I think they're definitely more of a work um, sort of wheel um, definitely very very nice um, they definitely suit the body kit very well of course you can see more of the body kit flowing in there as you can see and also the arch and going across all the way through it flows really well the windows are also very nice done as you can't quite see in the light right now but you can see that there is some black sort of window lining which I think looks really nice and also very clear sponsors all the way around of things that would be on this car present. I'm not sure if it's a real car that is um, is seen in, in real life, this exact release, but I'm sure there's ones very, very like it floating around in Japan and all sorts around the world. Continuing on to the rear, things get very impressive. As you can, of course you can see on the rear end screen, the that wiper blade uh, is very nice and detailed and of course also Lamley Group is also seen there, very, very well represented. And also, 
Um, things that really, 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 really intrigue me about this release is that um, very, very nice indeed. I'll just focus properly. Um, sort of rear bar uh, light. That's not just sort of like a Hot Wheels where it's been painted on or where there's different colours behind them. This is the plastic that has been sort of made into different colours all the way along and I think that is very impressive. The huge rear muffler is also shown, which is a huge icon of these type of cars where you put a huge muffler on it and it's called a Jap can or Jap cannon. Um, and also that very, very nice, very simplistic wing shown very well with minimal if not no errors on it at all. This is really impressive and if you want one, I'd get it 100%. And in the other detail, I didn't even notice that it had was if you look there um, on the wing mirror as you can see they've even been detailed with a little mirror in there as well that is super to the base now where there isn't much detail but where there is detail of course is um, in casted alone uh, of course you can see the only actual detail part underneath this base is the jap cannon and also the tarmac works logo which is of course there very very nicely and of course they can see it's a 164 scale vertex s14 sylvia uh, and of course also it's metal on metal, which I think is also superb. So, if you take a look at the S14 alone by Tomac Works, how does this compare to the Hot Wheels premium release from a few years ago? Well, I must admit, I am a huge, huge fan of both releases. Both the Hot Wheels for, well, I must say, very, very, very nice detailed headlights, grills, and all sorts. And of course, given that this is a stock body with no aftermarket at all on it except the wheels, um, I'd say Hot Wheels did a fantastic job, and even actually Hot Wheels one-upped um, the time it works with badging such as this Sylvia logo on the front. Um, on the sides, of course, you can see the Hot Wheels a lot bigger um, of a cast, so I think it's a little bit more inaccurate there in that front. On the rear, of course, you can see where the uh, the time it works just steals the cake there. They both have huge um, rear mufflers, but also the fact that the detail and loan on that rear sort of bar lens there it just looks so much better than this sort of printed out it's too big it looks a bit awkward um, rear lights on the hot wheels however Tom at works did forget the third brake light and the Sylvia logo on the back which is a bit of a shame but it's still the details alone around the car really do prove its party and it really does look fantastic um, detailing on the base of course you can see they're both metal and they'll both have around the same details from side to side so which one would you pick to have Tom at works or the Hot Wheels because I'm really struggling for choice because this one looks fantastic in its own ways and so does the Hot Wheels so let's take some shots of it have a look and um, please enjoy thank you very much for watching stay safe everyone have fun and of course stay juking